Okay, I'm back. I uh, had to charge my phone and upload the video. So if you worked with me when we were creating this box, um, I had some, I can turn it this way so you can see it. This one had a crease in it, so I had to fix that. And I was able to piece together the last of those um, extra pieces to get all of my dividers here covered up to the top. So I just put some pink script stamp and I think it turned out cute. So now I'm going to continue on and with the decorating. I thought you guys might want to join in with me. I have this really pretty white uh, lace um, doily paper. And I thought that it would look nice over the top. So. I'm just going to kind of cut it out. On a rough. And then I can. Trim it out where I want it. As soon as I get it cut, something like so. Okay. I think I don't want that in there so that some of the Crackle will show through. So I'm just going to give it a little trim. And cut that semi hard or whatever that is out of there. Maybe like that. And then I picked out a couple of um, crochet pieces, so maybe we could do something like that, and then just layer up on it. <clears throat> Probably. I think if we just start gluing, <clears throat> this might be a good place for the art glue. Because it's got that fine tip on it. Even maybe Mod Podge would work really well if you were wanting just to do a quick lay down. I just really like this fine tip. So we're over our little cold spell, which is nice. It was outside earlier and my crab apple tree is just beautiful. It's just littered in all of its beautiful flowers. It needed trimmed up so last year when we uh, were doing yard work, my husband uh, trimmed off a bunch of it where it almost looked maybe like too much, but it sure came right back and now it's it's just gorgeous. And then I have a white, I think they call it a flowering plum or pear, but it's non-fruit producing. It just flowers beautiful, um, big white flowers. 
and the other day it was all in bloom looked really pretty and then we had that really big windstorm uh, knocked a lot of them off I'm surprised that the crab apple is still hanging strong yeah that's gonna look nice And I'm really liking this, but I wonder if I should, I better put my lid back on my glue. If I should add a little pink to this. You know what, kind of break up the white on the white. I have this um, coral. Kind of a wax paste. And it's really pretty. Let's see if we can. Just kind of add a little color in here. Doesn't take much. Almost kind of blends in with the background. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Some of the spots are taking it. I must have more. Oh, yeah. See, look at that one. This will be kind of my version of the shabby, kind of cheeky. Wasn't sure when I started what colors I was going to use. Was almost thinking about a teal or maybe kind of turquoise, but I ended up with the pink, and I think it's pretty. I'm liking the pink. Most of the time I'm on the same trident with the you know kind of grungier stuff so this is a little a little bit different change for me what do we think about that like it let's add that And then not go clear to the edge. That way, if I want to tuck some more stuff underneath there, I can do that. It's white on white. It's kind of hard to tell where I've hit and where I haven't. push that down and then the outside ones there we can touch up later if we need to there's too much dangling I'm thinking I got it though pretty good okay so white and pink and kind of this corally color have some other little pieces I pulled out. Wow, this is kind of almost all you need for that back in there. So maybe we'll just layer some different pieces and maybe add some. That's almost kind of a creamy color. And then 
Ooh, I have some pinks. Right there. It's one thing I don't have a whole bunch of is pink. Add a pink or a pink. That would make it really girly, really frilly. That's pretty. Um, and I also have some bead, which we could turn that out in. Okay, so get some white eyelash trim. I want to look for some thinner, some thinner. Um, this one. Trim. I like that too, and that could be really pretty with um, maybe beads or something over it. And there's, looks like there's enough there. So let's just fold this back. Actually, we probably better trim. I was waiting for this glue to kind of dry up a hair. like that or maybe just a, a kind of a double layer like that so like a couple different trim layers or off the top and then I think we're gonna have to add some pink which I do have that might be too roughly. We'll see. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start piecing. And I think maybe I'll just start right here. And go right above this line. And then I'll kind of act like a double. Um, a double uh, a scalloped edge and then I think I want to pull that straight across and then hmm so we maybe Yeah, I'm going to pull it straight across and then cut it. Okay. Okay, line it up because I want it to be straight like that. Yeah, pin stuck in there. Maybe if I just lay this behind it, then I can use it and pull it across while this is drying. Give it a good push. Okay, I have some pink flowers. Two. That maybe we could offset with. Like a pink one in the center. And then there's a darker pink one. So maybe two. Yeah, maybe two stand out. Probably should glue this. Or put this um little cap back on. I want my tube to dry to dry out. Oh, but I have some pink thread too. Let me cut a piece of this and tack that in there right quick. Let's 
see. Let me just make a little loop. I'm not sure how much of it I'll need. And then also here's some of this white. That might be a good time to piece this in here too. Okay. Looking cute. I'm liking that. What do you guys think? And then we have some beads. So there's this bead and a smaller white bead. Okay. I like it right here. I'm just going to go right on that. Trim part. See if I can get it to push down there. This doesn't um, grab quite as quick as the tacky glue. So I think we're going to have to work around it right there. Leave it sitting there and work. Probably. Hmm. Okay. And then. And it breaks it up or if um and maybe i just want to add pieces and parts here and there oh shoot forgot that one was attached and then here's some trim too that is kind of hangy and i really like this one it's got just little um, crocheted hangy things on there. Oh, and then you open it up and it's like a little ladder. That could be really cute for the top. It's kind of, kind of tricky. Huh. Okay. And then I have this. If I can get the pin out. This one's really pretty too. Oh, that could have been a really nice back layer. What's now? There, that's starting to tack down now. Okay, that didn't take too long. I was just second guessing myself, thinking I should have not have done that. I have this little. We think we like that kind of a peachy, pinky, if I can find a smaller one. There's even a, oh, that one's really fluffy. 
something like that. Let me grab this tacky glue. Run some glue there. I'm going to put it on both sides. That way I can um, make sure that it's stuck underneath this flower. Like that. And then this one. Forward. Gonna put a little bit there, not too much because I don't want it messing up the, the leaf. Okay. Oh, pulled my or not leaf, my feather. Okay. I'm gonna try and see if this grabs quicker. Cross there. There. Okay. I think one of these would be really pretty too, um, with like a gray, a gray and pink, or the gray behind with the, um, instead of the pink showing through that crackle. <coughs> that could be really cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this. I might help push. And then we can get started. Whoops, sorry. On this side. So. do the same thing, then I need to kind of use this side, I guess. And I know I don't want that pocket, or that solid piece, so I'm just going to trim that around it. Um, watch, watch all these creative women while they're crafting and doing whatever and they do such nice videos and they're talking and, you know, doing whatever and then you don't realize, or I guess I didn't realize how much I kind of get in my own head when I'm piecing things together. Because I don't know how long I stop talking and I go, oh shoot. Gotta start talking. Oh. 
Okay. I'm going to go too far up because I know I have to still trim this. And then I just want to line it right up to the Tip of that glue dries quickly if you're not careful. Gotta make sure that you're on it. Okay, now some more of the kind of waxy. This one I just put a hair bit more on my finger so I didn't have to keep going back over it. And then I'll just really blend it out. I've used this on um, paintable wallpaper too, and I like how it pulls the details out. So when you go over it, you know, it just kind of hits the high spots, unless you push really hard to get it into the lower. And then a baby wipe takes it right off your finger. Like it's... Baby wipes are good for everything. Okay. So I have that one and then I have the matching one here. So we put that on there. These guys are just so pretty this side. It should be fun on the outside of the box. I like them on our journals too. They just give that little added detail, you know, in their vintage and somebody created them. which is pretty cool. Reminds me of my grandma. My grandma used to crochet. Okay. There. And then she went from crocheting blankets and doilies and stuff to um, Edging, I think she called it, where she would take a pillowcase and uh, punch holes, you know, around the end of the where your pillow would go in, and then crocheted little teeny tiny. I don't even know what size a, a hook she would use. And then um, I think she did some cross stitching in there as well. Okay, so now I got two of these strung out. I'm going to go ahead and get these glued down so I can get these cut and out of my way. And I believe I only went to this piece, so. I'm going to run tacky glue down the top of this one. And then pull this across. There. These um ones when they get all like balled up, I find I can take my heat tool and just apply a little heat to it and pull on them, and it's a quick 
way of getting those to lay flat versus having to iron all of them. Of pieces right here that hopped. I really want those to stay down. There. I really appreciate your ladies' comments, too. I um, try to keep an eye on it and get back to you as soon as possible, so. I just want to tell you that I appreciated that, and I think it's fun hearing what you guys have to say and your helpful tips and Suggestions, they're always welcome. There. So now I'm going to bring the same thing over onto this side. Um, with the flower, so we have, I'm going to go ahead and put this, get this ready so I don't forget it. And so we did the pink. And a kind of eyelash, white eyelash trim. Oop, I got sticky fingers. And then we we'll add a couple of flower of these um kind of peachy pinky fluffy feathers and oop I stumped all my flowers out and a pink flower like so Sometimes it makes it easier when you do the second side if you're mimicking the first. You know, way you're not having to rip things off and try it again. Like, oh wait, I know I needed that. There. Okay, so there's one side. And our front. And our other side. And I don't think I'm going to put anything on the back because that way when it's up against the wall, it's not going to get ripped off. And we can apply some pressure. And these are on there. Don't like they're getting tacky pretty quickly. So I think I'm feeling like I need something across the top. Oh, I'm thinking it's this, if I can find the end. Oh, there it is. This could actually be the kind of the trim that polishes off the top. Do we like that on there? What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do it. 
Okay. And I should have enough to go all the way around. I think this will make a nice, um, a nice finish look for that top. So I'm just going to, oh, Wow. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Let's just turn it upside down. Swap out the glue. I want to go underneath. I crocheted doily there, but just really close to this edge. I got a hold of this. My dogs hear something. There they go. Okay. Got something going on here. Look at my trim's twisted or something. There. Not to get it too high. I don't know if you can see, but it's got some funny way it's curling. Like those little loops are stuck or something. There. And then this one, that little loop is stuck. Okay, got it. That looked funny. There, and they just kind of are a, see if I can pull this one down just a hair. Give it a push. Good. That's way cute. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to turn and go around the corner and just continue right back up while we're on this. Always look out the back. We have um, Fox, Red Fox that decided they like to hang out. The neighbor has a um, bamboo field, beautiful bamboo. And he, uh, I asked him when we first moved here, we moved here two years ago, and I had asked him um, when we met him if I could pick some of his bamboo, and he said, absolutely. So... He, um, when I was getting ready to go over and pick it, because well, you have to know though, I think that there's some red fox that are. Oop, I don't want to get it on my thing. Um, that are living and nesting down in there, so just be careful. So then, of course, I didn't want to go by myself. I waited for my husband. Once I was told that there were red fox back there. And sure enough, they weren't in there when we were there getting the bamboo. 
but um, you could see exactly where they had been bedding down. And we uh, were able to cut bamboo and stuff, but shortly after that, those guys were running everywhere. So they were up on the train tracks and then they were down in my um, back field. And they got brave and came clear up next to my fence line and that's when my dogs and the neighbor dogs and they could smell them, I think. Smell them or hear them, but they go flying out there and barking and raising cane. And then of course, you know, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, 5.30ish, so I'm sure the neighbors don't want to hear that, so take out and flash the flashlight around out there in the field and try to scare them out of there. Oh my goodness, when we first heard one of them things, there were two, what do you think, there were two um, female fox that were sitting in the driveway and it was like two o'clock in the morning and um, I heard this horrific scream and being new here I didn't know many of my neighbors um, but I did know the ones we had met them when we first moved in um, had met them and her and her husband but there was this horrific scream going on. And to me, it sounded like, you know, a, a female, you know, a woman screaming. And I woke up my husband and I'm like, oh my gosh, do you hear that? There's somebody screaming. My dogs were going, like, they didn't know what was going on. They were barking and um, it was scary. And he, I had woke him up in a dead sleep and he says it's a, the, it's a cat on the fence and I was like no babe that's not a cat that is a, like a woman screaming so I think somebody's hurt so then he got his wits about him and he's like oh I wonder if that's the neighbor cat or something I'm like it's babe it's not a cat so he finally gets up looks out the window um is you know gonna go check it out and whatever and he says, "You will There's two fox right there at the um, in front of my truck, which is, you know, right at the base of our bedroom." And I got up and I was like, "What?" So here we're both looking, and they're screaming at each other, and it was horrible. It was the worst sound ever. It was really cool to see, and the fox were really they're really cute, but those rotten things they were so loud and they sounded so horrible um <laughs> that i don't ever want to hear it again actually we did hear it again um a couple of days later but yeah that was that was something oh see if i would have we could have put always put that in there and gave it a little extra what do you guys think about that too much are we good with this? I think this turned out cute. I was going to add a little bit. Oh, I might have rolled this up just a hair. I was thinking about adding a little bit more, but I'm liking that. And then with some really pretty trims in there. Look how cute. All right. I think I'm going to call this done. Yeah. And I'll add my stuff to it. and That's just really cute. All right, guys. Thanks for um, showing up and crafting with me again. Do you have any uh, comments or tips or tricks? I'd love to hear them. And if you're new... Please um, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button. And I just really appreciate you guys. So thank you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.
and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.